So we're going to explore the pelvic outlet as a way of giving you feedback about your sitting. So there's a triangle formed as you feel your right sit bone, left sit bone, and pubic bone. If you need to, you can use your hands to feel the two sit bones and the pubic bone and feel that triangle. And then there's another triangle that's from the two sit bones to the tailbone. Okay, and it's those Okay, now we're going to explore the pelvic triangle, the pelvic outlet, as a way of giving yourself feedback about your sitting and to guide your relaxation in sitting. So there's a triangle that's formed from your right sit bone to the left sit bone to the pubic bone. So you can feel those with your hand if you need to. And then there's another triangle that we don't use in sitting. It's from sit bone to sit bone to tailbone. Okay, so as you're sitting, feel that front pelvic triangle. And feel for the organs from the navel down. from the front of your abdomen to the, your lower back. Feel those organs and let those organs drop through that front pelvic triangle into the chair below you. Make sure that the organs aren't stuck back against your lower back. Let them drop forward and through the front pelvic triangle into the chair below you. When you have a sense of that, we'll look at the pelvic organs from the navel to the pit of the stomach. And we want to let those also drop through the pelvic triangle into the chair. Once again, make sure that those organs aren't stuck back against your back, that they're able to drop slightly forward and down and through the front pelvic triangle into the chair below you. And now we're going to explore the organs inside the rib cage. Not asking you to relax the ribs or the back, but find the organs inside and let those organs also drop down through the front pelvic triangle into the chair below you. So all of those organs are forming a column inside of you from the chair all the way up through the neck to support the head. So breathe through that column of flesh. And that's your column of support. For a half a century in Rolfing, we've used the term core, but I no longer use the term core because it's confused with abdominal and pelvic muscles in various forms of exercise now. So I call it that inner column. So feel that inner column from the chair below you, through the pelvis, through the waist, up through the rib cage, through the neck, supporting the head. Now you may want to nod the head up and down a little bit just to find that balance. Side to side a little bit. Once again just to find that balance on top of that inner column. So ultimately your head is supported by the chair underneath you. And that column is a perfect column for breathing. So breathe through the column on the inhale and let it go on the exhale. 